Hello everyone, Christine McKee here from the Emerging Technology Team. Welcome to all of the students who are joining me to watch and learn alongside me. Today we are going to be diving into an overview of the extension Screencastify and how we can use Screencastify to record our screen on our device and demonstrate our learning and showcase our understanding. So let's get started. I've gone ahead and opened up a sample of student work. This is a graphic organizer that a student has completed in Google Jamboard. To open Screencastify, I'm simply going to come up to the extension bar here at the top of my browser window. And I'm going to look for the Screencastify extension. Let's click on that to open the Screencastify recording menu. All right, here inside that menu, you can see that you can set what you want to capture. So maybe you are recording a brief presentation for your teacher. So maybe you only want to capture your webcam. If I set it to webcam only, this is not going to show my screen on my device. It is just gonna show me in the webcam. Next, I can choose to record my entire desktop. This is handy if I have to switch between different tabs in my browser window, or if I have to open different apps on my device. If I just wanted to capture what's inside this browser tab, I could simply click browser tab. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and select desktop for the ultimate recording experience. Underneath, I can set my microphone settings so I can choose the correct microphone I'm going to be using to record. And I can decide if I want to turn off my webcam so that you can't see me, you just see my screen. Or I can leave my webcam turned on and I can make sure that it's set to the correct webcam. You will likely only have one webcam choice, I'm using a separate webcam, so I have a couple of different options. All right, once we've set up what we want to record and our tools for recording, let's click on show more options. Here, you can change the countdown. This is a countdown that appears on the screen to count you down before you start recording. I'm gonna leave that set to three seconds. You can turn off or turn on the show drawing tools. Now, if you're demonstrating your learning and showcasing your thinking process, you are going to want these drawing tools on. And I'm gonna show you how to use these drawing tools coming up soon. Finally, do you want to capture system audio? System audio refers to all of the sounds that are coming out of your device. Do you want to capture that? If so, leave it turned on. If no, just simply turn it off. Oh, one more thing about system audio. If you are going to be showing a video uh, in your screen recording, you are definitely going to want to keep system audio turned on. Okay, now let's go ahead and hit record to see how we record a video in Screencastify. When I first hit record, because I chose to record my entire desktop, a window pops up asking me to choose what I want to share. Now in this case, I have the choice of two different windows, and that's because I'm using two separate monitors. You will likely only have one choice. You simply click if you want to share your entire screen, or if you just wanna select a window and you go ahead and choose the window or the screen that you wish to share. Once you do so, remember to click Share System Audio at the very bottom of this window. If you plan on playing any music or showing a video clip during your screen recording. Once you're ready, simply go ahead and click Share. So you notice that I was counted down from three, two, one, and that's when my recording begins. 
All right, let's take a look at what we can do while we're recording our screen share. So first of all, notice that I see my webcam here in the bottom right corner. I can actually click on my webcam and I can move myself around on the screen. This is excellent for while I am explaining something to my teacher from my work. Maybe I am sharing my thought process behind how I solved a math problem or a science problem. Maybe I am talking about why I chose certain wording for my paragraph. Maybe I'm reflecting on what I have written or what I have created in my digital work. Whatever you are doing, to demonstrate your learning, you can move that webcam around to help you better communicate with your teacher or your classmates. All right, let's move the webcam back to the bottom right corner. The next thing I want to show you is the tools, the those drawing tools that we talked about, whether you could turn those on or off, and I recommended keeping them on. Notice that I can move this toolbar wherever I'd like on my screen, wherever it is easiest for you to use. Let's take a look at the different tools that we have. We have the mouse pointer. We have the pen. Let's start with the pen. The pen is for digital inking. Notice that I have a variety of colors I can choose from. Let's go ahead and select purple. And with that purple pen or digital ink, I could go ahead and point out things that I want my teacher to notice as I'm explaining. Maybe I underline some important points that I have included in my work. I could draw a diagram or label a diagram and I could write a message as I'm explaining myself in my screen recording. If I wanted to clear this digital ink, I could simply click the clear screen button, but I wanna leave it on. I'm gonna click back to go back to the other tools. Now, one thing I'm going to mention before I start showcasing the other tools is that the inking, the other tools that I'm going to use, they're not actually putting anything on my digital work. This is only appearing in the screen recording and I can clear it anytime. Okay, let's take a look at the next tool, the rectangle. Again, when I click rectangle, notice that I can choose from a variety of colors. Let's go ahead and select blue and I can simply draw a rectangle. So again, this can help me emphasize or point out something really important that I am sharing or explaining to my teacher. I could draw a rectangle around important questions or important points. And again, I could use my digital ink to help me explain um, and communicate my learning. All right, let's click that back button again. I also have stickers. Stickers can help us express ourselves, especially as we are reflecting. Notice that I have a smiley face. I have the cool dude with the sunglasses. The hearts, I love this idea. I think this idea was really important and I wanted to share it with you because the 100%, the thumbs up, and of course, celebrations. And again, I can use these stickers in creative ways as I'm reflecting on the work that I am sharing with my teacher. Again, if I want to clear all of this off my screen, I can hit that clear screen button anytime. If I go back to the main toolbar, I will also see an eraser tool. And if I click the eraser tool, this lets me erase just one thing or one part of what I have added, there we go, to my digital work, rather than clearing the entire screen. 
Okay, the last tool I'm gonna show you in this toolbar is I have the ability to stop my webcam. Because I'm recording with my webcam turned on, notice that I can stop my webcam or turn it off at any time. If I wanted to turn on my webcam again, I could simply click Start Webcam. It's gonna take a minute to load up, but you can see that it restarts your webcam. So you can turn that off and turn it back on at any time during your screen recording. Finally, let's talk about stopping and starting the screen recording. Notice that there is a pause button. If we come to the far left of that toolbar, we have a choice. We have the pause recording or the end recording. Maybe I need to take a break as I'm recording my screen share. I can simply click pause and I can go ahead and click play when I'm ready to resume recording. If I am finished, I have uh, shared all of my ideas, I have explained the work that I have created, and I've reflected on the work that I have created, I am ready to end this recording. I'm simply going to click stop. When you stop your video, it will take a moment to load the Screencastify watch page. Here on the watch page, there are a few things you can do to officially save your video to your Google Drive. The first thing I can do is here at the very top, I can change the title of my video. If I look below the title, I can see my video. Here at the bottom, I can press play to review my video. I can always click here to unmute it. If I pause the video, I want you to notice the scissors on at the beginning and at the end. This allows you to trim the beginning of your video if you maybe have some uh, airspace that uh, can be cut out of the video. Same thing with the end. We can hit the scissors to trim at the end. You just select what you wanna trim and click Save Trim. Remember that when you trim the video, uh, the trimmed footage is permanently deleted. So be careful when you're trimming your video. Remember to click Trim, and Screencastify will take a moment to trim or edit your video. These are some of the basic ways that you can edit your video in Screencastify. Now, I'm gonna pause this video. I want to bring your attention here to the right side to see how you can share your video. So students, I want you to keep in mind that in your Google Drive, you will see a Screencastify folder. This is where your Screencastify videos will be saved to automatically. All you have to do to share with your teacher is copy the share link and share that share link with your teacher, or there are other ways you can incorporate your videos into other digital work. For example, you can insert a video from your Google Drive into a Google Slides. This allows you to actually select a Screencastify video and include it in your work in Google Slides. Teachers, I want you to notice that you can share a QR code, you can share directly to Google Classroom, or even to Wakelet, or you can simply copy that share link. And teachers, you will also find your Screencastify videos in a Screencastify folder in your Google Drive. You can also export the video. This allows you to download the video or export it as an MP4. This will save it to your device and then you can upload it yourself. And if I click Google Drive, notice that I can change the settings do I want it to be private so that only I can view the video? Or 
do I want it to be unlisted at ECSD so that only people who have the link to the video can view it? Or maybe public at ECSD so that anyone at ECSD can find the video. And then you can copy the drive link. Notice that I can also click view on drive. That's going to actually load this video from my Google Drive. And notice that at this time it's processing the video. It does take a few minutes to process the video so that it will play. All right, let's just come back to that watch page. So there are many different ways that you can use Screencastify to share your learning, to showcase your ideas, to reflect on the work you have created, to explain your thinking behind the work that you have created. Maybe explain your thinking behind problems that you've solved in math or in science, or explain your wording choice for paragraphs or for an essay or a short story. There are so many different ways you can use uh, Screencastify to record your screen, share your digital work, and reflect on your learning.